I am here today with Terry Fisher, and Terry and I are both in the GMAU Krav Maga Instructor Certification Program. As a matter of fact, he and I went through instructor certification together. That's how we met uh, up in Tennessee with Coach Dustin Koppel. We tested in person. So Terry, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. Um, I've been so looking forward to this interview. I've, I've done several of these lately, and I've been particularly um, looking forward to yours because I know you personally. Um, and it's, it's been fantastic to get to know some of these other guys that I've interviewed, but uh, this one's particularly special to me. So um, just to get things rolling here, why don't you tell folks a little bit about yourself? Well, hey, first, uh, Joe, I want to say uh, thanks for uh, the interview. I, I appreciate the opportunity for me to uh, talk with you again. It was always a pleasure meeting you the first time and uh, sharing this story. But um, to get straight to the question, you know, the first time uh, I got into martial arts was used. I was a younger and I didn't uh, I didn't have a family, a, a real strong family cohesion. So I had some uncles that taught me about uh, the basics of boxing. Uh, and then I had some friends that studied karate. They had the money, their parents had the money to send their kids to karate school. And then off on the side, they would teach me some things. Uh, it wasn't until I got into the military um, in 95 when I had some friends that really got it. They were into more karate or boxing. Or at that time, jujitsu was around, but not really a big thing at that time. And they're the ones who got me in, um, interested in martial arts, more on the karate side, because that was a big popular thing back in the mid-90s. And, um, you know, that's that was my first intro into um, learning about martial arts. And then I started just dabbling in it throughout my career. Um, it wasn't until probably about early 2000s when um, my children, uh, my first born, uh, I started getting her involved in Taekwondo and watching her evolve. And that really piqued my interest. And uh, then I joined, uh, moved her over to uh, Kempo. And then we both got our black belts in um, Kempo. And then we got into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, Jiu probably about, I don't know, 2006 or seven, if I'm not mistaken. Don't, don't hold me true to those dates. Uh, it's been quite a while, and that's when I really started diving into uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, uh, the traditional side, and then now I, I train under uh, 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu with a school here in O'Fallon, uh, Illinois, um, and, and that, that was my start to martial arts, but uh, then I started getting interested into Krav Maga uh, for some personal reasons. Um, mainly because of my age, I wasn't able to move as fast as I used to, certainly after back surgery, uh, having bars and bolts put in my back. And I felt that Krav Maga would help supplement uh, that stand-up game that I, uh, I haven't done in quite some time. Uh, yeah. Looking more into the combative side of the house, where jiu-jitsu is more of a sport, um, per se. And I, I love the sport, but I needed something that had some real practical to it. Uh, something to where it taught my mind uh, and my body the situational awareness of real life events of having someone surprise attack me uh, coming from front back side to sides or even with weapons knife guns sticks as, as you already know um, and because the body's reaction time is so much more different than being uh, in front of somebody and then someone saying go fight uh, it, your body just reacts so much differently, not only the body, but the mind. Um, there have been times when first practicing, when we first met, at first I felt like my body was going to freeze up. I, I didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, so they, that was my, my start to martial arts and then my interest getting into Krav Maga. So how did you find GMAU Krav Maga? Well, <clears throat> you know, when... I was training with Tim Planet, and uh, like I said, I, re I really love um, studying jujitsu, which I, I still do now, and I help uh, teach at this school part time. Um, it, was, it was a side of me that I was always saying, hey, what will happen if a fight never starts at the ground? It may end up there, but it doesn't start on the ground. We don't start with both of us sitting on our butt saying, okay, let's fight. 
So it really dawned on me to say, hey, if, if I want to be well-rounded and uh, a well-rounded martial artist, I need to learn a better stand-up game. I need to have some sort of stand-up game. Uh, via it's either boxing or karate or something like that. But I've realized that I can't make those high kicks like I used to. And I need, and boxing doesn't teach you to fight when someone has a knife or a stick or some sort of gun coming at you. So I started doing some research in Krav Maga. And the moment that I started researching it, it was just, it just spoke to me. It was something that I, I was really drawn to because it adds that real world experience someone could come and attack you with a knife or come at you with a stick or worst case scenario you you encounter someone with a gun and i started dabbling getting into some research and looked at other schools but it just didn't speak to me but and then i came across um global martial arts university online and the moment that i started reading about the school, started reading about the instructors and all the various backgrounds and their, their willingness to really go out and help the students uh, either at a residential school or having this great option of this online capability of learning through video and, and interaction. It, it was something that really spoke to me and it met my need because I'm so far away from a Krav Maga school here uh, currently and that that ability to be able to still have that instructor student relationship while still learning through video interactions sending video still practicing it I just felt that it was the right school for me at this time and um, I wish I would have known about the school years earlier because I would have dove into it already but Terry uh, if you don't mind tell us about your experience with GMAU as a student and you know feel free to share good points bad points strengths weaknesses whatever you want to say well, I, I, uh, so some of the strengths that I I would say that I really like about GMA is the fact that um, it's the video um, training I'm a very visual type person I'm a hands-on as well so having the videos and the instructors and that type of classroom environment for me and being able to follow along and their instructions which I, I really I really like the the effort that they put into keeping it simple uh, for all the practitioners and uh, then giving me exercises to work on with uh, my partner my son is usually uh, who's who helps me he's a 15 year old he um, does jujitsu um, part-time with me and you know, having that, that ability to use the videos and then follow through with my partner uh, helps to get the material sunk into my head um, for, my, for me to have that body memorization, um, which at first it, it wasn't easy uh, for sure because I've been so used to the, uh, the traditional schools. Uh, unlike going to my jujitsu class where I get on a mat and I'm with a lot of different people, but what I've noticed is, is certain instructors, certain schools, you get in and all you hear is a bunch of talking. Um, but with Gmail is you hear, you hear a move and then they give you a, a scenario and then they show you how to use it based upon that scenario. And then they give you exercises just of constant um, comp, uh, repetition while also then giving you some midterm check, like mid checks along the way, progression checks, which I find it really good because one, it keeps me, um, it, it keeps me responsible because I know that I can see the moves. I can't just go into a log and say, yep, I know it. I have to provide proof to the instructor, the head instructor uh, showing my capability. And I found that at first, I found it exciting but I also found that to be a little bit of my weakness because so I get a little intimidated when I'm in front of cameras. Um, just having someone film me to go through a move because I don't want to do bad, um, which I find that, hey, it's, it's a weakness of mine. Uh, it helps me to, it helps pinpoint my, um, my errors in which I've had plenty of videos come back saying you need to fix this. So um, it's, there's strengths and weakness to this, but I, I think there's more strengths than 
any weaknesses that I could um, I care to talk about on a video. I don't have any yeah. weaknesses about Gina. Well, one of the most important questions that I really wanted to get to with you is what you're doing with your training. And I, and I think that this is going to be um, very uh, of interest to the GMAU students. And um, so just, just tell us what you do with your training. What's your job? <clears throat> well, um, my full-time job, I am a um, transformation manager. Um, for a military installation up here in uh, Illinois. Um, but on a part-time basis, I work, I'm a uh, instructor teaching combatives for the uh, security forces here at, um, at the base. And, and that's not a full-time gig, like I said, it's, a, it's part-time. Um, I've reached out to the, uh, the unit here on the base because I know that they have a particular group of personnel, security forces that uh, has, has an amazing job and a very important job of keeping the community safe uh, here at home as well as um, when they're overseas. And I wanted to provide an opportunity for me to train with them, to give them some little extra tools uh, to keep themselves safe. So uh, I reached out to them and I do this on a volunteer basis when they need me to come out and show some groundwork or uh, particular combative uh, moves that we've learned with um, the school and just to show them, you know, how, how to do their job, how to go in and be effective to uh, deter the threat and then get themselves um, safe so they could get back home and be with their families. And uh, that's what I do uh, when, when I'm needed. Uh, like I said, it's a part-time basis, but I do keep in contact with them, go out and talk to them. Uh, there are some of the students who I train with uh, on the side, um, more on the grappling side of the house, but they, it's just a great relationship. And having that ability to talk to them in a combative language yeah. um, setting uh, really has opened up some doors. And, and then it also allows me to put what I have learned into a real scenario yeah. Uh, because, you know, having someone come in with a uniform flight vest on mm -hmm. and trying to do those moves, it's, it's a little different. You're, you're not as free, yeah. but um, they really like the, the, the information and the material that we bring to them. And the, the, like I said before, the great thing is we keep it simple. Yeah. And I think by keeping it simple, it helps them to be able to focus do the move, get in, get out. And uh, they really appreciate that. You know, uh, GMAU is very cutting edge with what they do, this online instruction. And, you know, there are people who are more traditional who would say, you can't, you can't learn that way. You got to be face-to-face yeah. -face with somebody in person. And so I think that your story and what you do is a real testament to um, um, the usefulness of this program and that you are instructing the American military in combatives, uh, and, and in grappling as well, uh, based on your grappling background. So, yeah. um, I, I think that's a real important point here for this, this particular video. And one of the reasons why I was very excited about this, this interview, but before we wrap up here, I wanted to give you an opportunity to, if there's any other things that you want to share or say before we end? Yeah, in, you know, for anyone who's um, looking to get into a great martial art, not only a martial art, but a, a self-defense uh, course and curriculum in school, I would say, you know, first off, g -Miles is the way to go. Um, and I'm not saying it's just because we're doing the interview. I'm saying it's just because I've done my research. I looked at other schools. Uh, like I, like you said before, we went out and we met each other and we trained together. We did our instructor course together. It, it is a, an amazing opportunity to be able to learn online through this school because what the school teaches is it's real. It's, it's practical and it's very, very effective. So uh, I would say for anyone watching the video, go online, do your research, and start classes with uh, Gmail, you will not be disappointed, I promise you.
Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Terry, for your time. And um, man, it's it's good to reconnect with you. I haven't seen you since April, since yeah, uh, yeah. Wow. we did our training. And um, I, I appreciate your time today, and I really appreciate your story. All right. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it, Joel. Hey, if All you right. need anything, always reach out, man. Absolutely. You take All care right. and be safe. You too, sir. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.